Hi, uh, it's been a while creating a Grasshopper tutorial. Uh, today I would like to create something like this parametrically uh, without using any scripting, just uh, using a Grasshopper components. And it's been a while doing something like that. Okay, let's think about the process. Maybe I'll start by creating a line set the starting point and I'm gonna create a ridge line first uh, using an arc maybe so let's uh, let's create a line to the y direction first with some uh, lengths right then in order to create the arc, I, there are several ways to do that. Uh, I am going to use this one today, arc three point. So in order to use this, I think I need to have three points. So I'm going to divide this line first by two so that I've all, I will have three points. In the end, at two, two points at the end and one point at the middle. All right, then I'm going to explode this tree by setting it as a graft and simplified and then click match output so that I will have start, middle and end point as a different output. Okay, now let's move, let's just move the middle points up, upward and maybe to the X direction as well. So let's create X, Y, Z, vector X, Y, Z, and let's set the X and Z value with some parameters. like this and let's use those three points to create an arc maybe that's a bit too big all right let's reduce the size all right and i would like to have another line another arc uh, in order to create a loft to create something like a windmill, paper windmill shape. So to do that, I am going to, let's say, first of all, uh, let's create, let's scale down the size of this line or this point list from the center or from this construct points so let's connect this to the C connect this point list to the geometry then let's also uh, create a slider value to control the scale all right now let's do the same things as I did it here um, Let's copy this. Then for the smaller ones, I'm just going to move the middle one to the X direction and without moving to the Z direction so that it will always stays on the XY plane. So I'm gonna create another XYZ. Then move the middle point with this value but without the z value like here and create an arc with those values so this one this one and this one okay so now that i have two arc what i want to do next is to create a rotational value i guess and place them place the place this one and this one uh, like a waving pattern 
so the first curve will be this, second curve will be this, third one this, fourth one this, and something like that. So the total number should always be a even number, right? So let's create, a, first of all, let's create a rotational value for this arc. And I am going to make that using the range and uh, the total angle will be 2 pi so oops 2 and then let's also create a parameter for this number of uh, divisions for the range uh, let's set some value as the default value and then since uh, if we do like this we'll have the first one and the second, uh, the last value be the same. So the zero degrees and uh, two point zero multiplied by pi is the same angle, basically. So let's delete. Uh, I mean, if you do it um, in trigonometry, so let's delete the last one, the three by call index call index reverse delete the first one and reverse again so that I will uh, I can delete the last value 2 by value right now uh, let's use this to rotate this first arc Okay, looks good. Now let's also rotate this, this one. But for this one, I would like to place it uh, between those um, main curves. So right here, right here, and right here. To do that, uh, first I need to know the step angle for the first arc and the second arc uh, on from this uh, geometry. So I can get that by getting the second value from this output to get the second output I'm just gonna set the index to 1 and then divide this by 2 division alright alright and then add this to this angle value and finally uh, calculate this by a modulus by 2 pi so that it will always stay in within 2 pi like this and then uh, rotate this second arc with this angle value all right looks good looks good like this now finally I'm going to uh, weave this one together so that it will uh, uh, list it as one two three four five six so let's do it like this and then I use the loft to connect Okay, and I'm going to set the loft uh, type to straight. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's let also let's also close the loft like this, and then put a view with some colors. And that's told. Uh, that's it for this uh, geometry. Let's set it to some colors like blue. Oops, something like this. All right. Now let's try to let's try to change some parameters to see what it's going to look like. Okay. 
Let's also increase the division numbers. Okay, starting to get interesting. All right. It really looks like a windmill, paper windmill. Although I don't think it's possible to create it with the papers, so keep that in mind. But the geometry itself, yeah, I think I like this. Yeah, looks good. Hmm, nice flower like shape. Okay, so that's it. That's it for today. It's pretty easy to create. Yep. Uh, okay. Maybe um, if you're interested, I will continue something like this. Really simple uh, definitions to create like simple geometrical shape with Grasshopper. All right. Okay. Thank you. And. Uh, you can download a file from the description.